Hi, I'm Brett, and I'm just going to walk you through the TVMS, the Red Arc Total Vehicle Management System that is installed in our Ultimate Nexus 360, and have a look at all the circuits and devices that are built into this. I know we get a few people ask us, oh, you know, what does the TVMS give us in terms of uh, controllability? We like it, a couple of reasons. You've got a Bluetooth app, so you can actually can do all of the things that I'm about to do through this head unit. You can do through your phone as well. All right, so we, we like this because it shows us where we're up to with our power. So we've had a rainy, a rainy day, and we've actually had a rainy couple of days. And you can see we're still at 99% full on our batteries. I love lithium for that reason. Any sun that you get with your solar panels, lithium's going to take it as quickly as it can get it in there. Um, I've got an external walk around video where I show the solar panels I've got. I've got a couple of solar panels that I use because I knew it's going to be a rainy trip this way, and this one, and I wanted to make sure I could maximise uh, maximize the solar that was coming into the system. So battery's full. You'll see that my water tanks are pretty empty though. I deliberately didn't fill tank number two for this trip and number one we're now getting down pretty low. We've been using a lot of water on this trip. So that's that's um, the home page. I'll just scroll across here. You can also see um, how much amperage is coming in from solar. So you can see I'm getting four amps in from the solar at the moment. It's a little bit cloudy at the moment but I'm still getting four amps. 3.7 going into the trailer. The fridge is running behind us at the moment. So a lot of the power that's coming in is going to run the fridge and a little bit over to the batteries. 64 watt coming in from the solar panel at the moment. But let's go through the main circuits. So the first four buttons at the top here control lights. So we've got our main galley light that we use. We've got a... So we'll just show that. Cool, that's the galley light. We've got a steer light, right, which also happens to have um, the SIG circuits on it. We've got a lower galley light. Um, it doesn't flick on right now. Uh, but when you flick that on, um, there's my lower galley light. But it also, we've added a second light outside over the kitchen area and we run it off that circuit as well. And then there's the rear light, which is a big rear, rear light out the back of the trailer. So there's the four light circuits. Let's look at some of these other things. Here's the electric water pump. So that allows me to run water into my sink and outside. This one over here is the, um, the Truma water and air heater and I'll show you that system in a minute but that turns the heater on. If I press down a page this light up here this one here controls the electric actuator that we use to open the roof on this trailer so you can turn that on or off. There's the fridge circuit we've also got the inverter on a circuit here so that turns the inverter on. Over here is the fusion stereo system that'll pop on now there's the fusion, fusion stereo system and finally the USB circuits within the trailer. And all of those can be controlled via a Bluetooth app. But while we're here, let's also pop across to the, um, the Truma, to the hot water unit. So that's over here beside the fridge. Okay. So this is the Truma control unit. Now, you control... The first, the first item that's flashing there is the heater for the vehicle. So you can control that. You've also got... I'll scroll across. So then you can control your water. You can choose gas or electricity to heat your water so if you're at a caravan park and you're plugged into 240 you can actually heat your water in your hair with 240 uh, without having to use your gas bottles but you can also control the level of the fan so let's just have a quick look at that so for the vehicle it's current i just pressed in the middle of that button it's currently turned off if i wanted to heat the vehicle i just dial up the temperature that i want and the heater will go to work and start heating the vehicle scroll over this is the hot water system it's either six foot. It's either 60 degree heat or boost. If you put it on boost, it boil, it looks to boil the water really, really quickly. So if you've just pulled up and you want to get your water boiled quickly, choose boost. Next one along, as I said, you can choose between gas, a mix of power and gas, or electricity. So you can control all that from here. We're on gas at the moment, and then finally the fan, eco mode. So you know, run it efficiently. Just give us enough heat to be able to keep the place uh, reasonable or go high blast on the fan and get a lot of heat into the unit. So that gives you a bit of an overview of the Red Arc TVMS and all the systems or circuits that are built into that and the Truma water and air heater that's built into the Ultimate Nexus 360. Cheers.